Every spring, since 1936, people have journeyed to Keeneland in search of fame and fortune. These hallowed grounds make promises to no one, but all that spend a day at the races are guaranteed to take a few memories home. Those moments scribbled in a mental diary. The smell of flowers, horses, leather, and burgoo. Vignettes captured, treasured, held and protected, a part of the past, yet a window to the future. This spring, millions of memories will be etched in the minds of Keeneland visitors, and a large portion of those will revolve around our signature race. The Toyota Bluegrass is the most successful fork in the road along the Derby Trail. No wonder so many winners of America's greatest race have made this event their final stop on the way to Derby glory. Their names forever etched in history. Trainer Nick Zito said the key to strike the gold's Kentucky Derby victory was coming to Keeneland and running in the bluegrass. A $37,000 Keeneland Sale graduate, spectacular bid won 26 races, including the bluegrass, and amassed nearly $2.8 million in earnings. With the aging Markies watching from their car parked along the outer rail, Alidar would take Calumet's sixth bluegrass by 13 lengths and send the couple back to the farm with hopes of one last Kentucky Derby. A champion racehorse an outstanding sire, and then a sire of sires, Northern Dancer was the cornerstone of a breeding dynasty that continues to this day. Chateaugay, a son of swaps, parlayed a bluegrass victory to Derby Roses for Lexington's historic Darby Dan Farm. Four white socks as thin as a greyhound and a little bit fussy, Tommy Lee was an English-bred colt who was tenacious and talented and one of jockey Bill Shoemaker's all-time favorites. Saturday, over 25,000 people will gather here. Some will come out to enjoy the Keeneland experience, others hoping to cash a hefty wager. Many will be looking to find their derby horse, and a select few will be trying to punch their ticket to Louisville by winning the Toyota Bluegrass. The 2009 edition of the Toyota Bluegrass holds many of the same hopes and dreams found in the previous 84 runnings. It is a field deep in talent, typical of the race's legacy, and several entrants have solid links to past runnings. The equine and human families of Cliffy's future scream Toyota Bluegrass. His sire, the Cliff's Edge, won the race in 2004, and the owner-trainer combo of Silverton Hill and Darren Miller captured the 2007 edition with Dominican. Pulpit won the Toyota Bluegrass in 1997. As a Claiborne stallion, Pulpit would sire Sky Mesa, who sired three of this year's entrants, including General Quarters. Adele Dilschneider's terrain is another son of Sky Mesa. He is seeking to provide trainer Al Stahl Jr. with his initial Toyota Bluegrass victory. Trainer Todd Pletcher is attempting to win his third Toyota Bluegrass. Sky Mace's son, Join in the Dance, hopes to join last year's winner, Manba, and 2005 victor, Bandini, as stable success stories. Trainer Billy Mott has had a Hall of Fame career. His charge, Hold Me Back, will try to duplicate the Bluegrass victory of Taylor Special, who Mott saddled to victory back in 1984. Menifee, the sire of Masoni, sailed to victory in the 1999 Toyota Bluegrass, leaving future sires Cat Thief and Vicar in his wake. There goes Jojo, a grandson of Danzig, who sired 1985 Bluegrass winner Chief's Crown, is attempting to capture the second Toyota Bluegrass for his trainer Kenny McPeak, who won the 2002 edition with Harlan's Holiday. Graded stakes placed Patina was purchased for a quarter of a million dollars at the 2007 Keeneland September yearling sale and returns home in search of Toyota Bluegrass glory. 
Lock Du, a $42,000 Keeneland bargain purchase, is now a stakes winner from Turfway Park over the poly track. The Toyota Bluegrass is a race that Lexington-born trainer Kieran McLaughlin has coveted since his youth. Charitable man seeks to make his dream come true. Mafaz, the first ever win and you're in Kentucky Derby entrant, hopes to start a new legacy for European horses by winning the Toyota Bluegrass for Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoum and trainer John Gosden. It's been said that winter must be cold for those without warm memories of spring, and that God gave us memories that we might have roses in December. But roses on the first Saturday in May are the current goal, and 23 times the Toyota Bluegrass has supplied them. Which talented three-year-old will help create the Keeneland memories for 2009?